stress. I love to go to Six Flags. I don't care about the rides, I just really want to scream in public. I kind of think that's why I like these macho guys. I see your jersey, like why you like to go to sporting events? <laughs> so you can like be there matching with all of your buddies with matching shirts and matching makeup and just scream like one of the ladies. <laughs> no. And like the wave, that is the best part. The wave is when a stadium full of fans turns into a bunch of theater kids. <laughs> just like, woo! Yeah, the theater kids got it. <laughs> I have to say though, my all-time favorite thing to do when I'm super, super stressed out is go for a nice long swim in my own tears. <laughs> yes, yes, she's like, no. Let me tell you, I do not want to go to the spa for a salt water bath. I could stay at my house and have a salt water bath. <laughs> and crying is so relaxing, it just has a bad rep. Like me, I don't cry. I look qua. <laughs> it's just so cleansing. And it needs to be socially acceptable, especially for men. You guys need to be able to cry out of more than just your penis. <laughs> right? Like, I think that's why guys, why whenever you're sick, you turn into the biggest babies ever. It's why you're not sick, you're dying. Because it's the only time you're ever allowed to be weak. <laughs> As a black woman, I totally get that. You know, but we don't get to be weak when we are sick. We have to wait till we're dead. <laughs> I know. Ah, the truth hurts. No, my mom, I have to say, is like, she's the, she's the strongest woman that I know. And I was having a super, super hard time with a boss. He was really misogynistic, and it was just the worst. And I actually cried at work. And I came home and I told my mom about it. And she was like, oh, Samantha, you never let them see you cry. And I was like, but I want to. Just let me cry like a white woman. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm mixed, you know? 